Hello everyone, this is the Mass Analyst. I see that Bronte 3000 is opposed to The Stranger becoming the YouTube advocate because uh, The Stranger uh, posts while uh, wearing a mask. And uh, Bronte seems to have an inherent distrust of wearing a mask. Or maybe to put in his words, and I'm paraphrasing it, all of the things being equal, he would not uh, trust someone who posts behind a mask. The thing that he seems to be missing is that all other things aren't equal. Uh, one should be able to, in judging a person, look back over their past posts, look what they've said, see whether what they've said has been consistent and honest and truthful. That's the way people should be judged. And I think if you look through the stranger's past posts, uh, he's been sticking up for the little guy on YouTube. He's been asking some very important questions, particularly about uh, YouTube's transparency. Uh, sometimes they suspend accounts without uh, obvious explanations to what's going on. Sometimes it appears that they play favorites. Now, this may not be the case, but certainly the appearance is there. And I can't think of anyone who I would rather see uh, become the YouTube advocate than the stranger. Uh, and this is based on his past records. I'm going to post some links in the sidebar to uh, some of his uh, uh, better videos, which I think really qualifies him. Now, I'd like to address the question of masks and anonymity on the internet. Up until a couple of years ago or so, two or three years ago, everybody posted somewhat anonymously, or a lot of people posted somewhat anonymously, using bulletin boards on the internet. Very few people posted their faces. Uh, this whole thing with showing your face is sort of a very recent phenomena. And how did people judge their credibility? Uh, on message boards? Well, they usually looked at their evidence that they provided. They looked to see whether they were in, uh, consistently uh, inconsistent in what they said, whether they contradicted themselves. Were they logical? These are the ways, as I mentioned before, to judge somebody. Now, it's a different question as to whether people should be able to post anonymously on the internet. And I can see valid reasons why people would be distrustful of people wearing masks. You can't see their expressions, you can't judge by their face uh, whether they're lying or not. But you know, there are some uh, some people who are very convincing liars even when you look at their face and you couldn't necessarily tell. It's it, it's something that it, if you're in court, I would expect to see the uh, face of, person, of a person testifying in court to help weigh decisions. But when you have a body of evidence, that's probably, uh, or a body of past works, it's probably a better way of judging someone than by their face. More importantly, if you go and look at um, our founding fathers, uh, they highly valued anonymity. Uh, now, Blunty, I know you live in Australia, so you might not be that familiar with the history of our country. I live in the United States. Uh, back in 1787, uh, the Constitution, the American Constitution, uh, was written. This was to uh, uh, correct some of the problems with the old, uh, with the older Constitution, which had some some real problems, and. There was a widespread debate among uh, within all the states, within the various states, as to whether or not to adopt the Constitution. Now, uh, three of our founding fathers, uh, John Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay, wrote a series of uh, 85 uh, articles, and they published anonymously in newspapers called, uh, and they called themselves Publius. And these were gathered together, and they formed the Federalist Papers. And these are some of the most uh, important documents of our country. And they valued their anonymity uh, highly, because if the British ever got a hold of them, well, um, they, or not just the British, I, at that point I guess we were independent, so probably the British weren't as big a consideration, but they didn't want to be harassed uh, and hassled uh, and possibly face danger, so they published it uh, anonymously. Uh, now there are many reasons people might want to publish, put their put things out anonymously. 
perhaps they work for a company that could fire them if uh, if it was known that they were blogging. Maybe they're blogging. Maybe their company has done something wrong and they're acting as whistleblowers. Maybe they are speaking from countries that uh, have political repression. Maybe they're afraid of uh, being uh, targeted for assassination or what have you. Maybe they just don't want to be hassled. But for whatever reason, uh, people should have the right to post anonymously. And I know, Blunty, that you never said that they shouldn't, but uh, I, there are valid reasons. As far as I'm go, as far as me personally, well, if you saw my face, you'd realize that I am doing uh, public service <laughs> by hiding it behind a mask. Uh, but there are plenty of reasons uh, why a person should be able to post anonymously. Judge them by their past works. That's the only fair way. Uh, there are plenty of people who don't hide their face who are li lying weasels and I, uh, uh, who don't wear masks. Uh, when was the last time you saw a politician or a lawyer or a used car salesman wear a mask. Uh, that's not uh, the end, uh, showing your face is not the end all and be all all the time. Well this has been the Mask Analyst under an N.